Flave City family, what is up? It is a rainy, nasty day in Chicago, but you know what? It's always sunny here at Costco. And I have to do a weekly run at Costco. And I was just on Instagram to check out what's new and exciting at Costco. And I saw a few items that I'm super, super stoked to check out. So let's go in there. Let's do our thing, get our normal groceries, tell you why to buy certain stuff, why to avoid it, and check out some of those new items before we get rocking and rolling. You know the drill. Like, subscribe, share. The only way this channel keeps growing, the only way we help you put the best quality stuff in your body is by you subscribing, hitting the bell icon below the video so you get a push as soon as we go live with six videos every single week. Also, I want you to check out Thrive Market using my promo link down below. Thrive Market has all your favorite organic, non-GMO, keto, paleo stuff. You would normally get at places like Costco, but it's cheaper than the grocery store. You save about $32 per order and the box comes to your door. They also have a price scanner on their app. You can scan, scan anything in the grocery store and it shows you if it's cheaper or if there's a better alternative on Thrive Market. Uh, Flav City fans get a free gift up to $24 when you click my link down below. Try out Thrive Market. It's 30 days risk free, but I think you're gonna love it. Okay, let's mask up. Let's go into Costco and do our thing. I always have a pack of this in my fridge at home. It's real deal prosciutto di Parma from Parma, Italy. Look at this, 18 month age for $12 for 12 ounces. This price is amazing. You can easily pay double at any other grocery store. The only thing I've always said to myself is self, well, this isn't organic ham. So is it GMO feed for the pigs? The answer is no. I did some research and Parma, Italy bans GMOs. So these uh, pigs here have a non-GMO feed, which makes me feel great. Price makes me feel great. I just ran out because we made those uh, we made those uh, keto chicken salt and boca on the live stream the other day. So I have to buy those. Let's walk into the cooler. What is this? Whoa, has anyone ever seen this? Ripple plant-based milk at uh, Costco now. What is this? $9 for three 48 ounce bottle. That's the deal of the century. But uh, we did that plant-based uh, milk video yesterday uh, highlighting almond milk. Watch that video when we're done. There's really good info in that almond milk video. And I talk about pea milk. Here's my problem with pea milk. If it's not organic, peas could score high in heavy metals like lead. But even that aside, here's the ingredients. And it's not organic peas. They add cane sugar. There's five grams of cane sugar per eight fluid ounces. Five grams is just over a teaspoon of white cane sugar. There's sunflower oil, not expeller pressed, so it's inflammatory and processed. And then they Add all these, in my opinion, cruddy um, vitamins in here that really aren't that great, but there's also natural flavors. And then we talked about in that video, sunflower lecithin stacked on guar gum, stacked on gel and gum, stacked on sunflower oil. If you or your kitty has a sensitive tummy, too many emulsifiers and oils like that will really disrupt your gut and your intestines. So the other ingredients just aren't doing it for me, but it was kind of interesting to see it there. So I passed, but watch that video. I talk about the best non-dairy milks that came out yesterday. Um, I just ran out of Kerrygold. Now raise your hand, does your Costco have the Kerrygold unsalted in the gray box? I don't have that here, but I've heard some people do. But two pounds at $12.99, the price did go up a little bit lately, but I don't care, I'll stock up on this for the holidays, that's great. And what else is in here? I think that's it for now. Obviously, if you live on the West Coast, get the uh, pasture-raised organic eggs. We don't have that here in the Midwest, but uh, ooh, it's cold, let's go. Uh, this is a new staple that's always in my freezer at home. Plainville organic ground turkey thighs. You know it's thighs when it's 90-10. Ground turkey breast will always be 98 or 99% lean. Look at that. $5.49 a pound is a fantastic price. You might recognize that name because they make the best in class turkey deli meat, which is right over there for a great price too. But this is so great for making a turkey meatloaf, turkey... Um, Meatballs, really fantastic. You're gonna get some? Yeah, it's, that's the good stuff. I would get that one for sure. Uh, yes, all right, so she's gonna get it, I'm gonna get it, let's move on. Oh, this is not a drill. Ladies and gentlemen, this is not a drill. This bottle of maple syrup is the best tasting maple syrup I've ever had in my life. And the bottle price is amazing. 25 ounces for $14.79. Let me just tell you what this is. This is organic. Hudson Valley, New York, maple syrup. 
aged in old bourbon barrels. So that flavor of the bourbon, no alcohol goes in, but the flavor of that oaky, tanniny, lovely flavor of bourbon infuses into the actual maple syrup. They do this in Hudson Valley. It's 100% organic. The ingredients obviously are just one and it's really high quality. You'll see this at um, Walmart, but Walmart is much, much more expensive. This is fantastic. It went away during the spring and summer and it just got back. Run, don't walk, run over, grab this. Now, yes, it is a little more expensive than this. This is also always in my pantry. Hold on, let me put that here. This is the Kirkland Organic Maple Syrup. This is great too. I believe this is product of Canada, right? Uh, where does it say that? Product of Canada, right there, yeah. Product of Cadena. Uh, this is great and it is cheaper, 32 cents per ounce versus 59 cents per ounce, but that is a special treat. Load up on that. In the meantime, load up on this for baking because Desi in the new coming cookbook uses this as the primary sweetener in addition to coconut sugar, which they don't have coconut sugar. I've never seen it here. Does your Costco have coconut sugar? I bet you guys in California have it because you always have all the cool, clean ingredients that we don't have in the Midwest. This is great, but that's better. Hoo -hoo, yes, it's back. I know I talk about Laird's Superfood Coffee Creamer every time I come to Costco, but they do make the best plant-based coffee creamer in the world, and the price here at Costco is great. But if you live on the West Coast, they actually have Laird's Superfood Coffee infused with Superfood Mushrooms, too, for a fantastic price. But this week, they just dropped a new product. Heck, they're dropping new products left and right. They dropped a super clean plant-based paleo protein powder with next-level ingredients. I've actually never seen a complete paleo protein powder, meaning there's no peas in there. Instead of peas, how do they do it? With next level ingredients and protein sources like hemp seed, like pumpkin seed, like sacha inchi, which is actually Aztecan seed that has a ton of health benefits. And the other ingredients are epic. We're talking functional mushrooms like lime mane. We're talking about a little bit of sweetener from freeze dried coconut water, cinnamon, and uh, coconut sugar, but it's only two grams of added sugar. And there's 19 grams of protein per serving. I I add that to my blender with some raw cacao powder, some frozen banana, some almond milk, some almond butter. It's the best plant-based protein powder that's paleo on the market. And you guys know I'm very picky about my protein powders. And just until tomorrow, there's a sale for 15% off with free shipping. Click my link down below. This stuff is fantastic. Laird is rocking the game and you're gonna love this protein powder. You're gonna love that coffee creamer and you're gonna love that coffee with mushrooms if you love on the West Coast. Okay, this baking aisle has some crazy stuff that just made me bug out. We'll get to it in a second, but here's the first exciting item. This is brand new, Chicago's very own Simple Mills Almond Flour Baking Mix. Now, if you watched our Target haul video last week, they have a couple really cool Simple Mills products there, and this is gonna be just as good. This is a Paleo Almond Flour Banana Muffin and Bread Mix. Let's see the ingredients here, see? Nine times out of 10, their products are super clean and Bobby approved. Almond flour, bananas, coconut sugar, the paleo sweetener, coconut flour, fantastic. This is paleo, it's not low carb, but it's paleo and as clean as they get. And look at that, I mean, that's like half the price of most grocery stores, that is fantastic. Now, well, take a look at this too, I haven't seen this. Keto brownie mix from La Canto, interesting. This is new. Uh, it's got the monk fruit sweetener. Okay, everything is pretty clean. They put the natural flavors in there, unfortunately, but it is low carb and keto. So sometimes I'd rather, if I have to deal with the natural flavors and add no added sugar, um, I'll accept it. I wish there was no natural flavors, but it's still pretty clean. But speaking of a canto, I walked past the sweetener aisle here, and at first I didn't see the Lacanto monk fruit sweetener, my go-to uh, keto sweetener, I saw this. I saw Allulose Keto Sweet. Has anyone seen this at their Costco? It's a three pound bag for $13. First of all, Allulose is great. It's a fantastic keto sweetener, but the ingredients is Allulose and natural flavors. Why would you add natural flavors to the sweetener? The Allulose is sweet as is. That's a major, major no-no because we all know how I feel about natural flavors. They're anything but natural. It's a fancy word for artificial flavors. So then I'm like, wait, did they get rid of the monk fruit sweetener from Lacanto? But they moved it to the end cap right over here. So if we go here, excuse me, right here. So this is here. This is the classic one. 
All right, it's uh, $9 for 28 ounces. What is this, $31, 31 cents per ounce versus, this is the math section of Flav City. Okay, so it's a little more expensive than this, but this is just the non-GMO erythritol with the monk fruit. I mean, you really can't go wrong with either one. I prefer this one. If that was without the natural flavors, I'd be a lot happier, but man, oh man, all these interesting things in the baking aisle, pretty exciting because it's fall, winter baking season. I need some enlightenment. I see this pack of persimmons here. It's a three pound pack for $8. What exactly do you do with these? I've never actually cooked with them. Maybe it's more in uh, different uh, cuisine, maybe Asian cuisine. I've never really seen anyone buy it here. Can someone please leave a comment down below? What exactly do you do with persimmons? Uh, I would love to know. Oh, sweet mercy. They're back. Holy cow. The Japanese A5 Wagyu steaks are back here. It's expensive. Yes, it's $99 a pound. But if you remember, we bought these recently. We did a live stream and we cooked them up. I think it might have been the strip steak, not the uh, ribeye, and they were amazing. It was just an experiment, not something I would buy very often. But if you want to splurge, grab these. I don't know where to get them, but the, all the Costco's have them. It's probably limited time only, but this is an exceptional steak that really is unlike anything I've tried before. It's not grass-fed, it is grain-fed, but it's a splurge. Maybe try it out. It's really, really unique. Can someone tell me, does any Costco in the country have king salmon? One of my fans in Pennsylvania told me they had wild king salmon and I've never seen it before. I always have the farm salmon here and then sometimes we have this. I mean, this is a great deal. This is wild Alaskan salmon, only previously frozen and thawed once and then kind of vacuum sealed like this for $9.99 a pound. This is fantastic deal. Uh, it's usually more expensive at most places, but has anyone seen wild king salmon at their Costco? I saw it on Instagram for $15 a pound, and it's normally $30 a pound, but I've never seen it here. That's the best wild salmon in the world because it's very, very fatty and oily like farm salmon. And the only issue with this kind of salmon here, like the sockeye, is that it's very lean. All right, family, that is it for what I'm buying at Costco this week. I still have to do a little more shopping here and fill up the cart, but man, oh man, in addition to the stuff I normally buy, there's some new stuff popping up. And speaking of new stuff, uh, starting tomorrow, the new sale is on at Costco. So I'm gonna head back here probably tomorrow, film another video and do a what's on sale at Costco right now because we did that for the previous sale in October and you guys liked it so much, I figured we'd do it again, right? More Costco is always a better thing. Um, so that's it. Uh, like, subscribe, share. The only way this channel keeps growing and the only way we help people put the best quality stuff in their body is by you spreading that Flav City love. Uh, channel memberships are now live for $5 a month. You can support the channel, get a badge next to your name, and get access to 14 emojis to use in the comment section and live streams. It's super duper fun. Uh, I got, well, thank you, I appreciate that. <laughs> I love, that's why I love thank Costco. You, I love you. Thank you, I love that, thank you. <laughs> uh, two more videos are below me right now. See, she's like, she's like, who is he? She's like, it's Bobby, right? <laughs> How do you not know Bobby? Uh, two more videos below me right now. I'm gonna go say hi. Uh, hashtag keep on cooking, mad love, peace.